is a strange one here. Look, when I was uh, coming back from the ATOS conference, I came through Chicago. And we had a big layover, so cause I took the bus up and then I had to take the train from there. We had a big layover, and uh, because of that layover, this is unsweetened tea. Can't do the sweeten anymore. It doesn't matter, you know. Classic, pre-diabetic, so I gotta watch it now. Like most black people, because we just, just too much sugar, too much whatever. But it's an acquired taste. I like unsweetened stuff. So anyway, so I, did, I had done, I, because of layover, I went to one of those IMAX theater, you know, with the recline and everything like that, and I saw a Joker. I loved it, you know, and then right away I did a review right there in the theater, and I swore I posted it up, but now I'm looking through it. I couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And I was like, what the heck's going on? Lost, lost in the ether someplace. Anyway. So what I did was I went today, it's a Monday, and went, because it only cost me, with that big IMAX, it only cost me $11. Senior citizen. Um, but then I realized in this, I wanted, actually, actually, I want to see Joker again. I just wanted to, because first of all, I think it's an amazing film. It's one of the best films I've ever seen in my life. I've seen a lot of films. A lot of films. A whole lot of films. All kinds of films. I'm talking about fun. All kinds of films. Trust me. My undergraduate thing is in film studies. It doesn't matter. But. So I went today and I got a, a bargain matinee. Well, not bargain matinee. Senior citizens did count. $4.75. The total is um, $5.23 for the C Joker today. So I went and saw him. You know? And because, well, whatever, I also got this. This is this some some sort of F Y something F Y A F Y I whatever some store in the cell like uh, movies you know so DVD so I would allow the rest when I got this uh, to hold my uh, my uh, one plus there so I can record so it's cute little doggy whatever have you uh, because I because I I won't go there and my other stuff went missing anyway so I saw a joke again now I think it's a brilliant film now let 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 let, let me I won't even give, give what, what, what the what the whole tip and the, and the conscious brothers are going to be talking about this film, you know, white supremacy and all that stuff. Nah. I look at films for another reason. I look at films for films. First of all, Joker, if you think of it, Joker itself, the character itself is, you can say white supremacy, whatever, but it's really just crazy person going to, this is the origin of this crazy person. But when I look at the film as on another level, it, because it, it really takes place in about 19, what, uh, 81? No, 1971, you know, when st things started to, to, to decline, uh, right before, no, 1981, yeah, because they had that reference to uh, Zorro the Gay Blade, and I think they came out in 81. I'm almost sure it came out in 81. It wasn't in the 70s, I know it wasn't in the 70s. So it was 81. But remember, we, we came off the gold standard in 71, so it took like about 10 years for things to really start to decline. Plus a whole lot of stuff. When I think it was A-Beam that kicked all the SROs out, and then all the crazy people started. I'm sorry, crazy people. You know what I'm talking about. They all started going, flooding the streets, and blah, blah, blah. So everything came to sort of a head in the early 80s, you know. And that's when, you know, the Times Square was looking like real Times Square. Yay, old time Times before Disney. Pre-Disney Times Square. <laughs> um all kinds of stuff, you know, squeezy people, the whole, the whole thing. What I, first of all, let me go back. Let me, first of all, I love this movie on a bunch of levels. First, the, the, the set, the, whatever you want to call it, set design, the, the, everything is like totally perfect to me. It, it, it's like an amalgamation, like like these steps that you see them dancing on, whatever, have you, that reminds me, that's the Bronx. I don't care where they film that, that's the Bronx, okay? The, even in, in, in you, you get flashes of, of, of say, um, I don't know, Brooklyn at the time, flashes of, you know, um, whatever, no, whatever, whatever, for 40 seconds, whatever it is. So it's an urban area, but urban area blight of that era. So that was the first thing. And that was carried all the way through. Let me keep on going up the, up the scale. Uh, the music is perfect. Everything about that, that film, the music is un, on the spot perfect, right? Now you say, well, this, uh, uh, this is uh, 1981. Didn't, no, hip hop really didn't hit to about 84. You know what I mean? When I say really hit, pretty, like blew up. Sure, they had it in New York, blah, 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 blah. But, but it's no, there's no real, I don't see any hip hop. I don't remember any hip hop in the movie. But the score is great. Um, let's keep on going. Um, but really, it's about the, 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 the decay or the origins of the decline of our current societal structure. That's what it's about. So all that stuff, the finance, all that stuff, all that comes into play, right? Uh, that's where you see the, the cutting, the, the, the cutting services. You know, that's this. All this stuff comes to play. Uh, let me say, I will. Yeah, I'll do the director. Director, 
Great job. I don't know who he is. They say he did a bunch of like hangover movies or something like that, comedy, whatever. Be. But a lot of times, you have to understand, comic, people have comic senses. It's still about, film is still about rhythm and pacing and whatever have you. So you can be, you'll be a, you can be a comic director, and if you go with drama and you're really a real director, then you got, they have the pacing go with If you can be a drama director, go with a comedy. But if you have that pacing, then, then that sensibility, then you, you'll, you'll be all right. The classic example is all those, um, what, hey, you like my outfit? This is my wife. She's South African, so this is an African design. I don't know, to correct the point. Uh, so so you, you, it's all about pacing and it's all about your sensibilities. Like, you know, like, like the classic example of Jackie Gleason playing Hustler, you know, the, these, these kind of uh, people that they can go over to, um, to drama and really do a good job. You know, even when uh, Eddie Murphy uh, did the whole thing with, um, with Dream Girls, you know what I mean? That kind, that kind of thing. Okay? Uh, by the way, let me come up with that. Dolomite, gotta go see it. Come on. If this is out, man, I didn't see it any place. Well, I gotta go. I'm going to New York, so I'll see it. Okay. Um, so the director did a great job. Not a casting. Ooh, man. Let's leave Joaquin Phoenix alone for now. Let everybody else talk about Joaquin. Joaquin is like amazing. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to some of the minor, the so-called minor kite. This is one thing, and this this what really triggers me to understand understanding of, of Joker and what it really is about. Um, Joker is a symbol of the downtrodden. The downtrodden mean anybody on the bottom, including black people. Okay, if you look at Joker as a white guy, well, you got problems. But you, you you're going to have a filter that's going to do it. But remember, he puts on the white paint, the white thing. You can, you can use it as being accepted into the, the normal society. But I won't get into that right now. There's one character. Uh, it's that brother that um, it's, it takes place at that the, the Arkham Hospital because of him. when he's getting he's getting his files from 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 when his, well, he wants to see the files from his mother. You know, his, his, well, he didn't. I guess he he's an adopted kid, but you know. So there's another hint. But in this one scene, uh, the the brother in there that's the brother that he, he's from a, a, the, the Adventure series Atlanta. You know what I mean? But well, I know him from seeing this film, A, a Widows. The one that they had that that, that Kalua in it, you know, and they didn't want to make him Fred Hampton next, you know what I mean? Because he did, um, he did Get Out. He was all right in Get Out, you know, great, whatever it is. Um, but uh, Black Panther, nah, I'm not feeling it. But I was really looking at wid uh, uh, Widows. I'm going, this boy cannot act. He was imitating Tim Roth and Wid and Widows. You know what I mean? And they given him to to be Fred Hampton. The problem with when when you do things like that, you have to do your research. What Black Panther, whatever Black Panther is going to talk to him, we're going to talk to him. You know, what, I, I don't know. You know, what I mean? well, how is he going to research? Well, from what angle is he going to come to research this from? So no matter what you say, you know, these folks stealing our icons, or, or worse still, the, who's directing it? Who's directing it? I don't know who's directing it, but um, it's a black director. I don't know what what's the AGOS, but I know that Ryan Coogler. Is the is the is the is producing it? This is everything is about relationships, especially in Hollywood. So when you see these people, you know, um, getting in and and you know, cozying up to other people, and and some people like I even think in this uh, in, in in Joker, he he has a certain guy that he the director has a certain guy that has been in all his films. It's almost like I remember when I was working as an extra in Cape Town, and I was talking to his brother, and he's in the, all the the guy that did the film. I think it was uh, uh, the. Um, uh, uh, Dread, did you know Judge Dread? You know I mean? He's in all his films. You almost like have a, I won't say a mascot, but a good luck person. You know what I mean? Same thing with the guy that did, uh, that did Speed, whatever happened. The black guy you see in Speed was in all the films because you have a, you have somebody that you, you anyway, you 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 create a crew around you that that you trust and blah 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 like, like that. And I'm sure that Joaquin Phoenix and and this guy um, uh, Todd Phillips, I think they're going to have a good relationship. They have really have good relationships. You know, that's the whole thing happened with Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a good relationship that people have and they really love. You know, you get a good relationship is it's different. Once you get a, a good working relationship, you you go with it. So anyway, back to the point. So this brother, he is so good. But in this scene, it's the first time the Joker says, you know, he's talking blah blah blah, blah like one down trying to turn it, and then he says brother. Now the thing is calls the, the black guy brother. Well you know brother whatever he said, you know what I mean? The thing is that you, you have to understand uh, I don't like black the white guys saying brother. Okay, I don't like you know I don't like when these you know you no know, white women. I don't care who they are saying saying sisters and brothers. I I don't like that. Okay? I just don't like it. Don't sound right when they say it. You know like it don't sound right. But in this case, he sounded right. Now then I look at other things that happen in the thing when he's going when 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 he finally becomes Joker 
as we know, and he's running away from the cops. And people think he's he running away from the cops for that murder of those those um, those three guys. You can say it that way. I'm not going to argue that. But to me, they were just they were questioning about his. But he just killed his mama, <laughs> you know, all kinds of things. You know what I mean? Anyway, when he gets in there, this is what signals to me also about the 1981s kind of thing. The cop running through the train, you know, he's looking for looking. You know, he sees he ain't got no weapon, but maybe he does have a weapon. But, but the guy pulls out a weapon. A cop pulls out a weapon. Here's the thing, man. You don't pull out a weapon in a crowd and anything. And he fires a weapon, weapon and kills somebody. And then they stop these cops, you know, blah, 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 blah. My point is, I think if you look at this film as Joker as a symbol of the downtrodden, the marginalized, the people being eaten upon, and that would include black people, of course. You know what I mean? Then I think you get another you get another thing. I could even say if if this was a, a I'm not even gonna say that. That's what I'm that's the, to me that's the most important thing for me with Joker. It's a magnificent film on every level. People say it's violent. It's not violent. It's more violence than a whole bunch of other films. It's more violence than cartoons as in as in, in this alliteration of, of, of this um, you know this seeing of this 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 Joker version version of Joker. There's much more jokers and much more violent. So I think I think one of the things is about this film to me is that the, the critics, I think critics and so-called you know pundits, whatever they are, they're going after this thing because if you do look at it as a downtrodden, you know, basically there's this whole thing almost like worldwide about the downtrodden going going for their freedom, going for their rep going for their reparations, going for whatever have you, and destroying this other system as this system continues. To, um, uh, to to try to suck the money out, this fiat, this fake money out, whatever have you. This whole thing, we're in a, an incredible time. We're in an incredible time. And Joker is just one, um, uh, a nod, uh, 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 one acknowledgement of the incredible times that we're in. So I could say a lot more about Joker. I'm just saying this is a magnificent film. I don't want to spoil it any more than I have already for you. So just understand that. Understand it from uh, me, T. From the Patterson taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect. And linking it to ADOS, believe it or not.